Hi, this is Jeff Schultz with Model Railroad Hobbyist Magazine here at the 2011 National Train Show in Sacramento, California. We're here with Craig Martin of BLMA, who's going to show us his new HO and N-Scale products. Thank you, guys. So new for the show, today we're announcing the third paint scheme of our F89J 89-foot flat car. This is the 1970s version to 80s, uh, actually early 70s to early 80s. Trailer train, TTX yellow, everyone's been asking for it, so we're doing 10 road numbers in HO and N scale. These come with collapsed hitches, raised hitches, bridge plates, aerospecific cut levers, all sorts of details. The RTTX car and the brown car are in production right now. They should be here in August. And uh, again, HO and N scale, here's the N scale sample we just got. Missing the, uh, the hitches, I haven't had a chance to build them yet, but this is the brand new test sample for the N scale. Moving on. Down here we have the modern right-hand cantilever signal bridge. This is a new announcement. This is the uh, pre-production test sample, obviously. We've released the left-hand version, so now if you want to make a control point, you can have the mass on the same side of the, of the tracks on a double-track mainline, and uh, you can do a control point. So that's something that people have asked for for a long time. It's BLMA4031. This will be out in probably September, so about third quarter of uh, 2011. And also, for the show, we have five new paint schemes of our 52-foot, 70-ton gondola in end scale. We've got Conrail, Southern Pacific, Western Pacific, Atlantic Coastline, and Pennsylvania Railroad. We actually, and I want to make a point about this, people said that the couplers stuck out a little bit too far, and it's because the axle, it's body-mounted couplers, the axle got in the way of the little pin for the, uh, for the coupler box. We went back, modified the tooling, the coupler sits a little bit further back, the coupler box is narrower, thus giving you a tighter turn radius because the trucks can swivel more. So just to let you know, you guys asked for it, we do it, you know, it's, it's something that we want to make to, uh, to make the products better. So when the feedback comes in, we appreciate it and it makes a difference. And last but not least, yeah, see he's already looking at it. You want, you want this? This is the Western Express, our latest thing, I mean, oh. <laughs> You want one? I'll get anybody that wants one. You know, you can probably find this. Uh, I'm kidding. We're not going to make this. But anyway, those are the latest products. Um, we're basically, or actually, we're completely sold out of the reefers. The N-Scale reefers will be here in August. And uh, beyond that, as always, thank you, guys. See you next time. Do you have any idea when you might be doing another run of the reefers? We... Let's put it this way, we planned for some different variations on this car. So different doors, different reefer units, and I think that it's safe to say that in the next, before the end of the year, you'll see another announcement. Okay, and the N-Scale uh, F89J, when was that due again? You know what, they're a little bit behind the HO scale model, so I would say that the previously announced RTTX and Brown cars will be here you're probably looking at uh, fourth quarter-ish because we just received the N-Scale sample where the HO are now in production. So we're looking at by the end of the year. And just like with the yellow car that we announced today, the, the HO scale and the N-Scale version, we're looking at very early 2012. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Jeff Schultz, uh, Model Railroad Hobbyist Magazine at the 2011 National Train Show, Sacramento, California. Thank you. Thank you.